All right, guys, in this box is the whole reason that I built this pond, that I started all this mess and spent all this money. So let's go ahead and get in here carefully. There they are. 80 largemouth bass fingerlings. And, looks, and they're very frisky. Let's hurry up and get these guys in the water. Start getting them adjusted. Look at that. They're all about two inches, two and a half inches. Subtle's Fish Farm does a real good job. And these little guys are pellet trained. I'm gonna put them over here by the feeder. That way they got places to hide in this grass. And also when it goes off, since they're pellet trained, they'll have easy access to food for the ones that want to hang around anyway. So we'll just let them sit here in the water for about 20 minutes. That way they can get acclimated to it. And I'll probably splash some of this pond water in here too to help them out. Now, the ratio they suggest is 100 bass per an acre. And I got a one acre pond, but if you want to grow bigger bass, faster you get less of them that way there's less competition for food they get they each get more food and then grow faster so i got 80 bass thinking that maybe only 50 of them will make it you know due to loss of predation weather and so on so hopefully this time next year all these little bass will be about a pound and a half maybe some of the bigger ones two pounds and then they'll spawn and i'll have even more There you go guys, 80 largemouth bass in the pond now. Now all I can do is just let them grow and make sure I feed the bluegill, that way they grow fast. Thanks for watching. If you want any information on where I got my bass from, I got it from Subtle's Fish Farm. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below to their Facebook and their webpage. Be sure to check them out if you're looking to stock your pond. They have awesome customer service. Thanks again Subtle's Fish Farm, I appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Take care. Remember, we do more than this more.